back to the Northside Industrial District in Watson, everyone. Um, so we made a start to Claire's street racing quest last time, but she needs to get back in touch with us. Um, then we, we came over to Watson after completing the Delamain stuff. And we did this horrible side quest to do with these two brain dance editors called Gottfried and Frederick, and to do with the a murder of a young boy whose death they had turned into a, an ex, uh, a black brain dance, an XBD, right? Is it black brain dance? I can't remember, but uh, an explicit brain dance anyway. And I zeroed them because they enjoyed what they did. They weren't here, you know, they weren't being forced to, to do their jobs, right? We learned from reading the emails and stuff that they enjoyed it. They were rich, they had loads of eddies, they could easily just walk away. And if Maelstrom think you're a bunch of weirdos and that you're going too far, then yeah. Um, it never feels good to just execute people like that who have their hands up, but they were scrolling. I mean, who knows what else they scrolled, right? Like there were, there were other brain dances and stuff that was to do with probably I'm not going to mention this in the first minute of the video, so I don't want to get the video demonetized. <laughs> but we're going to go and buy a new apartment, and then we're going to do a few more gigs in... Ah, oh, how nice! Look at them enjoying a moment looking over the water right next to the most heinous brain dance editing studio on the planet. You're never far from, far away from evil, hideous wrongdoing in Night City, right? So we're going to do a few more gigs in and around Watson, just because Regina has so many gigs. Um, if we actually want to get paid well by Regina, I think we need to progress a little bit, because we're, we're, we're still at like the two, 2,000 eddies threshold with her, whereas everyone else is paying us nearly like 10 grand a gig. So we are pretty flush with cash. I will go and buy the apartment in city centre when the time is right. Um, basically, we're passing time until we can go and do the, the quest with Judy. Excuse me, sir. Okay, this looks like an absolute dive. It looks like a... Like, what is it in America? A motel? Based on my knowledge of watching films. Yeah, this literally looks like a motel. It's not a no-tell motel? Great. At least it's not on the ground floor. Why go up the normal way? Right? It's only five grand. Oh, sick! Authentically functional. It's not cramped, it's co co cozy. Uh, what the hell does hygiene mean? Okay, this is quite, this is quite kitsch. Can we have Pacific Dreams? Jake Estevez. Hey, got your number from El Capitan. Thanks for all your help with the car. Oh, that's the techie, right, whose car we got back. Listen, there's just one last thing. I won't be coming back to Night City anytime soon. And there's this sweet ride I had to leave behind. It'd be a damn shame for her to sit alone gathering dust and rust. It's a Quadra Turbo R, ah, yes. It's yours now. Go wild and have fun. Show off. Sending you the coordinates, check your map. It's near the train tracks out in Rancho. Cars in the garage near the loading station. Adios, V. Cheers, Jake. There we go. This, this is sick. This is like a cool little BD studio almost. Um, but can we actually play this? Damn it. I know that there is a mod for mini games. You guys should check that out. Uh,
Right, what can we do in here? There's usually some little custom things. An archive conversation between TC and MG. The fuck's up with you? I keep calling and calling, even stopped by your place. You alive? Had a gig. A gig? You were supposed to lay low after the last one. Not go running straight for the net. Geez, chill. Some tunes called. Was going to tell them to fuck off, but they offered good heads. Simple gig. Political. Tune. How'd you get your gunk skull? Get it in your gunk skull that you can start grabbing gigs. What? I ain't pay enough. Jesus. Not on the hollow, Ted. Ted. I'll fucking Ted you. Better be glad you're my best runner. The fuck was that gig? Meh. Just digging up some dirt around the council member. Easy scratch. Easy for them to fry your brains too. Politics is no fucking joke, Mike. Mike and Ted. Yeah, well, you know me. Always. What? Someone's at the door. I'm the only one who knows where you are. Gotta go, Ted. Listen, fuck. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, look, we, we should be able to... Interact with this. Alright. Let's check our emails. Uh, a missing friend, dear resident, the reception desk has, desk has received a request to pass along the following message to the current resident of Unit 1242. Dear whoever you are, my good friend Mike Gallick was the previous tenant in your apartment. He left home a month ago disappeared without a word. Unfortunately, unforeseen circumstances forced me to leave the city before I could find him. If Mike comes back, please tell him he'll find me by the dam. He'll know what to do. Warm regards, Theodore H. Collins. Is this a reference that I don't know? It must be. This place is cool, but I wish it had something to do. Do I need to put anything in the stash? I need to make use of Skippy. I don't think I like this shotgun, if I'm being honest. Um, i probably got some stuff I could craft up to Legendary now. I would like to give this Asherah a try. Um, oh, I was supposed to go to the weapon shop back at the market, wasn't I? To uh, get some more crafting ingredients and see if they had any... Uh, Crafting stuff. Crap. Oh well. Let's make sure that we look Nova. I like this place, I just wish there was something to actually unique to do in here, because there's been something cool in the other apartments, right? Yeah, the mirror's a bit closer up, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we're still rocking the white theme. I've got I've got the next look planned out, but um I'm not sure when I'll change it. I need to do a journal. No, I don't know. Doesn't feel like the right time to do a journal entry just yet. But... Oh no, it maybe yeah, maybe it's the right time to do a journal entry after the voodoo's. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll write something up. I've got I, I, there's, I, I have like a general plan for that kind of stuff, but I need to incorporate, you know, story elements that I obviously don't know beforehand um, into them. So. Right, let's head to. There's a gig nearby, right? In this uh, mega building H11. I wish we could go, uh, explore the other mega buildings a bit more. Clouds is in a mega building, right? So. We've got a Maelstrom car here. I like it when they have a car park, I appreciate that. Right, and then once we buy the apartment in city centre, then we've got all of them. I am very rich at the minute. I've got like 150 grand. What? what did we come here for a quest? I'm, I'm thinking of clouds. I don't think we've been here. No, no, we did come here for a quest. There were tiger claws. It was just a scanner mission. Well, there is a car park here. We just can't use it. Look after the van, guys. V, gonna 
sent you some malware, on purpose. A demon by bad. The runner you're gonna help out. You gotta hack a mega building subnet. Spike it with the files I send you. More deets attached. We got a message from Delamain. All right, Agent Saboteur, upload Bad's malware in Mega Building H11. Bad got in touch with me. With me. They like short nicknames and simple gigs. So I'll spare you the fixer sh spiel and get right to the point. You'll find Bad's malware attached to this message. You'll have to download it, just be careful. It's hella dangerous. And then upload it to the subnet in H11 Mega Building. Piece of cake, right? Sorry to burst your bubble, but you'll have tigers on the prowl. Bad's plan is to attack some Arasaka subnet and use H11 as a smokescreen. Clever, right? Instead of leading them, leading to them, all traces of Bad's breach will lead right back to the Mega Building. FYI, our Netrunner already hacked the Mega Building elevator, so getting into the server room won't be a problem. Beautiful. Are there tigers, like, on the ground floor here? Nice! Hola! Hi, F. <laughs> Excellent. Have you got some clothes? They only sell the same things, generally. But I guess they'll be upgraded now, right? So that's worth keeping in mind. I kind of want to go black and gold. Last time I checked, servers hours, not theirs. Yeah, so? Still don't know shit about subnets. No way they trace me. Мне кажется, ты старова для игр в нетранера. Успокойся уже. Grow up. <laughs> Yo, fuck you. You don't know me, fucking Ruski. Просто, ай, не важно. Обижайся сколько хочешь. Right. Let's head up. Oh, we're going down. Okay. I'm not sure I like this pistol. I just wish there was one that I could release a single powerful shot, but I guess that'd be the Boya, right? It is dark in here. Welcome to N54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan. All right, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus. All right, we've got three cameras. So let's just hit a breach and then we can do camera control straight away afterwards. I don't think we can get all of them, so let's just go camera shut down and optics jammer. You may be a netrunner? Right, so there's four guys here. So let's uh, have a little goosey gander. Right, tigers. Where's the fourth one? Hmm. We need to get rid of these guys. Oh man, that didn't jump. 
Sorry, you two. Where's the other guy? this access point. Oh, it's down there. Alright. Okay. Contracts. Arasaka boy. Okay. Can't really read that properly. Did you drop a gun, mate? Yeah, we've read Flaming Bar Mask before. Okay, so the guy we took out was back here, I think. I'm not sure. Hey, we can actually force open the door. Let's make some quick cash. Okay. Got it. Oh, that wasn't worth much. We've not done this before. Oh! We are strong. Is that it? Jesus Christ. All right, a computer. Fair enough. Sit tight from Yuri Shaku. Patience is a virtue, right boys? You'll have to sit tight for a while longer. Gora said the server room's useful. So that means you'll be guarding it and letting no one in. Nothing more to it. Glitter from Yaki Hakida to Tatsuya Taki. Sent you another shipment of glitter. Once you get it, distribute it among the dealers. There's no fucking around or skimming. We calculated everything. And make sure those kids don't get anywhere near you. Those little shits are starting to get creative. What kids? We'll handle it just like you said. Don't worry. Huh. Glitter. That might be to do with something else. I like the interconnectivity with a lot of the gang stuff. Right? Because you run the risk of these, of some of these quests being kind of a bit generic or something. Oh, right. There might be another level. Where did I kill the other guy? Where's over here? Alright. Who is Dr. Paradox? Oh, this is the... God, the loading menu has this guy on it. Really annoying voice. Who is Dr. Paradox? who's hiding behind the distorted mask. Unsurprisingly, Doc Paradox won't say. After all, he's breaking the law. He has to protect his identity. If he revealed even the tiniest sliver about himself, Netwatch agents would be at his door in less than a minute. But think about it, think. What kind of person could successfully hide from the world's most powerful corporations for years? Who could hack into encrypted TV channels? Who could disclose highly classified corporate secrets? The answer's obvious. Doc Paradox is one of them. He's a puppet controlled by the establishment. To what end? Maybe this is how corporations funnel our anger and frustration in a safe and controlled manner. Through a rebel who will never go as far as to issue a call to arms. Maybe he's being used to reveal facts that hurt the competition. Or maybe he's just a branding opportunity. In a month or two, Avant could put out a new Paradox line for us to 
wear our, dis our disapproval. Only time will tell, but for Christ's sake, don't listen to a word out of this phony's mouth. It's a good point, right? Kind of like, you know, like in The Matrix, or a huge spoiler here. If you've not watched the whole Matrix trilogy, I've still not watched the new one. I need to do that. Um, but, you know, how the, the, the savior element might be another form of control for you to have something to direct your angst or your rebellion towards, right? And, you know, that's what Zion is in, in the Matrix. It's, they're just the 1% of people who don't fit into the system, so they give them somewhere that they think is free, but it's actually another form of control. Devastating Berserk. Some heads. Oh my god, who are you? No way. There's a net runner here. So we, we can't... We could blow her up. Well, that'd be a bit harsh, right? So I'm doing the fall of the first net. We'll save that for later. Let's check the emails first. Oh, there's nothing. I think that there's a floor below this. Which I guess we could have got into maybe from, from upstairs. Let's check it out though. Oh. Yeah, I guess we could have got in there. And done it completely stealthily. Instead of murdering everyone. Oh, there's some legendary gear over here. Might just be crafting components. Okay, sick. There is an access point though, I just don't know how to get there. Where was it? It was further down. Maybe there's a... Where was it? Not that we need another access point, I think it was down here, right? Oh well. Yeah, there. How the hell are we supposed to get to that? Eh, uh, we got the money anyway, it's fine. That was pretty straightforward. We're, we're just very overpowered now, so... I'll have, to come, I'll have to come up with some more creative ways of doing these quests. Maybe once, maybe once we've got our body and reflexes leveled up a bit. We've got so many gigs still left to do, right? I think we've only maybe done... A, a third, maybe two fifths of the of the gigs. So, I'm Bad's happy, which means I'm happy, which means you get your eddies and everyone's happy. Contract closed. Thanks, V. Oh man, she pays so bad. Right. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I was. I think that we maybe do Takimura explore his bit of the main quest after we've maybe done some stuff with Judy and Claire. Um, which? What time is it? So it's six thirty. So maybe in the next episode it'll be past midnight as long as there's no forced time skips in any of these gigs. Okay, so we've got a gun for hire. I'm not a big fan of these because I don't necessarily just want to kill everyone. But well, let's go and check it out. I don't know what these coppers are doing. It looks mighty suspect. Victor Wade crashed his car. It is weird because I guess the NCPD are a gang, in a way, in the way the way that they're treated in the game, right? You know the way that they they aggro on you for the slightest thing. I guess they just they're just a gang. It's just like running running next to the Valentinos or whoever else.
Oh, back to my one of my favourite places. Okay, let's uh, hopefully not have to kill someone, but it depends what they've done, right? Yeah, we've got a nice space to park here. And now uh, let's just quickly check where that uh, Quadra was. Um, when we did the quest, it was for Padre. Where we got his car, but it doesn't look like it's here. But it was... He was working for 6th Street, so I guess it could be in in uh, Santo Domingo, right? Dex on wheels, there it is. Okay, so is that, I think that that's technically, yeah, that is technically in Santo Domingo, just on the border with um, Westbrook. All right. I think we have to bloody kill this time, Regina. We could definitely do some vertical exploration around here, I think. So, looks like we found the last honest cop in this city. Have you met River? Her name's Anna Hamill, and whatever she's investigating, it's made her a lot of enemies. She'd do best to cut it out if you catch my drift. Uh, okay, look, I know how it sounds, but somebody would have taken this gig anyway, right? I don't know. Maybe there's an angle you can play here. Either way, info's attached. Interesting. Okay, gun for hire. Force Anna Hamill to drop her police investigation. Location, Kabuki Market. Anna Hamill is a blue-blooded cop through and through. The kind you'd expect to see in some NCPD promo. Beautiful, smart, honest to a fault. In other words, a really bad fit for NC. But NCPD colleagues are another story. They all have back problems from sitting on fat wallets. The current case Hamill's working has them all breaking out in hives. She's digging into the smuggling bracket in Kabuki Market, which, if she makes any real headway, means bad bids for her cop buddies' finances. They want someone from outside to the precinct to knit this thing in the board. Normally that's where I'd leave it, but I want to add one more thing. I kind of feel bad for the girl. Rather not flatline. Rather she not flatline if you can avoid it. Convince her to skip town or drop the case or make a career change at least. Jeez. That's not going to be so easy. Look at this chick. She is strutting. Oh yeah. <laughs> she knows she looks good. Okay, we got tigers already. Um, ask around the market about Anna Hamill and obviously find them. When's the next delivery? Two days. You're picking it up again? I guess. They already know me there. So they're up. This is the biz maybe that we were hearing about. What are these garbage shrimp? What do you expect? This is Kabuki. Not North Oak. What do you know about Kabuki, dirty nomad? Hey! Come on, I don't need this. Just uh, toss in an anti-whiff tablet for the smell. 15% off, or I will not buy. <sighs> and they call nomads thieves. Fine. Fine. You got the deal. Hello there. These shrimp fresh. They just arrived. Straight from the best aqua farm in Night City. Aqua farm? Where do you think? From Pacifica? Maybe. That trash from the sea no good. Make you sick. Guess the sea's polluted, right? Oh, do you know who Anna Hamill is? Ever seen this woman? That's cool. I sell food and... And I just want to keep selling food. That is all I will say. All right, all right. Stomach's rumbling. Let's see what you've got. Oh. Oh, I'm allergic to fish. Locust and pepperoni. Pineapple! Oh. Dude, I like mushroom pizza. Like I, I, I've really, as, I, as I've grown up, I've started to really hate me meat on pizzas. I mean, you have your f a few classics, you know, like uh, mosquito or 
like parma ham or pepperoni but generally i find it makes pizza really greasy i just prefer I like maybe mushrooms black olives maybe peppers but mostly mushrooms hit me with some coffee all right so we've got a few green dots so let's maybe talk to them there's an access point nearby there's loads of tigers here though. Alright, so it's the nomad guy we can talk to. Hauling goods through all of NC can't be the safest of jobs. You ever run into any trouble? If you're trying to sell me protection, take it the fuck elsewhere. Already got Takeshi. Bizarre's his. Sue me for being curious. Takeshi. Sure. Whatever. I'm looking for Anna. This guy's already aware of the tigers here. Know so. this woman? 30-something, slightly shorter than yourself. Heard she comes round here a lot. This is Kabuki. We get a lot of people. And smart asses? A lot of them, too. Yeah, smart asses, too. Smart asses who could recognize a cop's face? So how about it? You know her? I might. Depends on how much you'll be spending on your, uh, Groceries today. All right. Ah, oh, that's nothing. Here, talk. Girls are renting out a room in this here motel. Right over there. Thanks, mate. Tigers everywhere. Though. Hey, break a hundred for me? What am I? A bank? Hey, come on. Can't make change. Sounds like your problem, not mine. Hey. I just paid that guy. Is this going to, like, reveal me? Thank you. We're delighted to welcome you as our newest guest. Your room number is 203. We wish you a pleasant stay. This is not my message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I don't know where she is. But let's say uh, you get the access point first. Oh, some legendary loot. Nice. I'm going to need 2,000 eddies as well. Slick. New scope. Nice! We've avoided the tigers so far. Alright. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, whatever, man. I'm fine with it. Alright, what have we got here? Please do something. From Morton Olsen. Not to be a pain, but I'm paying for this room and I expect a certain standard of comfort and service. I understand there's nothing you can do about all the noise from the market. I can live with having to keep my windows closed, but I'm disappointed in your lack of willingness to keep control of your guests, especially that woman in room 203. I don't know if a louder person exists on this earth. She's constantly talking, even at the wee hours of the night, and clearly doesn't hold an ounce of decency towards any of her neighbours. My guess is she's a junkie. 
and was too scared out of her mind to get a wink of sleep herself, not to mention all the undesirables who appeared to keep visiting her room. I mean no disrespect, but please do your jobs. Um, what room did we get? I thought we got room 203. Or is that Anna? Ah. Yeah, so we got room 203. Man and me, no say, reservation one night, check out tomorrow. Wilson family, couple with a child. Morton Olsen, reserved for four nights, paid for three, will be removed if payment not received. Anna, last name not given, extended reservation one month, do not disturb. Room 303, so that'll be the floor above our room. Now, is there anything else on this computer? Uh... Let's just turn them off. Okay, that was really worthwhile getting in there. So we know that Anna is in... Uh, room 2... Uh, 303. We can't get in there. He's not a tiger, he's just a janitor. So we know that she is directly in the room above us. So we can just walk straight in. We can see her on the map, I think. But we, we hang on, let's just see what's in our room. Because obviously there must be another way in there. sweep up any goodies that are in here. There's always a max dock. Right. Ah, I understand. God, tigers. Okay, so we I think we can climb up to her apartment. But we could also just walk straight through her front door. Which, let's be honest, is a lot safer. <laughs> because we don't run the risk of getting spotted by the tigers. We have already read the emails and stuff. There she is. So we need we need to talk to her. Not another step. Drop your weapons. Who called the hit? Give me a name. Anna, drop this investigation. It's in your best interest. That a threat? I'd remind you, you're the one in the fucking crosshairs. Stop. Not one more hey, fucking easy. Step. We just want to help. Help? Phonic implant must be fried. I think you men intimidate. Just to end your investigation. Really pissed off the wrong people. Which people? Tell me what fucking people! Yeah, let's tell her. Your buddies at the NCPD set you up. Fucking. I fucking knew it. Robert Kowalski and Bill Adams. Motherfuckers! Let it go. It's not worth it. Yeah. Know what? I'm not letting scumbags get me killed. Fuck them. Fuck this job. Fuck this city. What do you think you'll do next? So, Anna, what's next for you? What? We choons all of a sudden? The hell do you care? I dropped the case like you wanted. You can fuck off, Merc. All right, fine. Understandable, right? Yeah? Something happened? Let's just steal all of her life savings. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Don't mind me, Anna. From Masato Tanaka to Anna. Anna, liking the subject. 
Anna, like in the subject, thought I could do this. But I really can't. I could try to think of some inspired reason to back out of this, but it'd be a waste of your time and mine. I'm a coward and I know it. I won't testify. I'm sorry. Masato, please, think this through. We're so close now. We have a real chance to lock these bastards behind bars. Your safety is in my hands. You're not in this alone, and I'm telling you this is zero risk for you. Do you really want to keep them on like this when we can do something about it? Hope to hear from you soon. The guy we talked about, so she's losing her witnesses. John Kessie to Anna. Hey, I'm writing in response to that guy, in regards to that guy you heard about at the market. According to our records, his name's Finn Gerstadt. Gerstadt. Known around town as Fingers, right. Real scuzzbag type. Few screws loose. The uncle you never want to leave the kids with. Scrawny, unkempt, balding, thanks. Dried out like a chili left in the sun. He looks like a lizard suffering crack withdrawal. His sense of style says something between everyone look at me and I'm a teenage girl in a drunk 40 year old bum's body, i.e. colourful, flamboyant and disturbing. Now, the interesting stuff, this creature is an established ripper in sex biz circles. But really, these fingers <laughs> extend from petty thieves to off the books hustle to street orphans. Most importantly, you can never tell where the cyberware comes from exactly, but it has to have a permanent source. There's a good chance he has his fingers, okay, sorry about that one, in what's happening around Kabuki Market. As you suspected, slugs like him fuel the smuggle racket. Anna, listen, this is all, this is really all I can do. I'm already risking a lot of getting this info out to you. Please be careful, I'm serious, alright? The atmosphere at the precinct is getting real shady these days. Interesting. I wonder, because we might, if we would have done this quest sooner, or got progressed the gigs sooner, and found out about fingers that way. Man, that's so sick, right? I love little interconnected things, right? Because the city's so big, but, you know, certain circles, certain topics, like, you know how Jotaro has popped up in the brain dance conversations and stuff? Maybe we've heard Gottfried and Frederick's name earlier, in other bits and just not noticed. Um, really awesome. Really, really awesome. Just, you know, th things feeling like they're all part of the same place. Oh, let's hope the tigers don't trigger for whatever reason. Let's head back to our car. I'm ready. You're ready? Yeah. time is it? 8 p.m. Regina? V of the silver tongue, eh? That's me. Got it all worked out. Contract closed. Silver tongue and the silver trousers, baby. Right. What time are we on? 45 minutes. Right, so there's only one more gig left uh, before the next batch, so I, I say we go and do it. And then I think by the time we do this, it'll be time to go and see Judy. And then by the time we've done Judy's quest, maybe Claire will have rung us. I think it was about 10 a.m., 10.30, when we went to Claire, so we need to wait a day, so. Didn't really get much loot from that, but it paid well. Oh my god, what the hell did we get this perk point from? I have no idea, but we're gonna put it into some tech weapon stuff. Yeah, let's take full capacity charge. Uh, this one, yeah, that'll be good. It doesn't apply to revolvers. Um, and I maybe need to get the smart thing put back in, because I want to try out that Ashura. What did I pick up? Oh, we picked up this Maelstrom. Is it Maelstrom? Kind of like a Maelstrom jacket. Not that great. Uh, I don't know. It, it's cool, but it's just a bit too Maelstrom. This isn't a Maelstrom one. The other one that I had was Maelstrom. It's just a bit over the top. We're, we're, we're too classy for this now. <laughs> uh, it'll sell for a pretty penny though. Uh, what else did we pick up? Uh, yeah, this might actually go with... Um, these combat sh shirts are a little weird, but it is gold. Maybe we could rock that with our new outfit, although we can't really see the tattoos. This might go with the, no, uh, the, the nomad... like the jacket that's like Pan Am's. Anyway, is what I mean. Hmm. And we never use this stuff anyway. I mean, the brain dance wreaths we could maybe, but I don't know. No. I like our pretty face. Guess we picked up some. 
Oh, there we go. And I'll try and use Skippy, maybe, next time we get into open combat. Because one of you told me I don't need a smart link to use him. And uh, I really don't like that gun. Because I thought it was going to be like the Satara. Because the Satara is a double barrel, but it shoots... You can, you can use two shots. Whereas this does so much damage because it shoots both barrels. Um, so we'll get Skippy in there. Careful now. No, Skippy. No. Leave it, leave it out, Skippy. Right. You might shoot someone. Ah, what is with you? I'm trying to get in my van. Oh, come on, guys, they're breaking the traffic. Oh, it is on. Right, see you later, Tiger Claws. Um, what type of quest was this? Was it a search and recover? Yeah. Uh, you got all the Pacific Dreams at night with all the lights everywhere, right? So this was in... was it in Kabuki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just near Kabuki. Might be maybe just on the border. To little China, yeah. Yeah, this is where those tigers were. Where Jitaro was sending them. Getting them back in business there, that's cool. So is this a mini mega building or something? I'm not sure. What the hell are you guys doing? I've got a gig here. I guess the road is blocked off for a reason. Ah, Pacific Dreams. V, I traced some klept meds. Someone's stashing them in a kabuki apartment. Unfortunately, no idea what's waiting for you there, so be careful. Great. Anyway, you bring them back, some rippers will thank you. Profusely. More deets in the attachment. Yeah, it's a bit mysterious. Recover stolen medicine. Okay, housing block on Columbus Street. A few years back, I scrolled a little feature called How Affordable is Health. It turns out, not very. My numbers showed only 3% of night citizens could afford healthcare. A lot has changed since. For the worse, some people are declaring open war on rippers, breaking into clinics, clinics, clepping meds and chems. No surprise there. No surprise these rippers want to protect what's theirs. They want you to recover a pack of stolen meds thanks to the GPS tracker hidden inside. We know exactly where to look. Alright. You definitely don't have, have Skippy while we're walking past these scavs. Oh, scavs are the worst. Maybe it's the scavs who stole them. How many scavs are we talking about? Is it just these four? These four mugs? Yeah, scavs are the worst. Scabs. Rooting in the neighborhood. That was like a. Yeah, that was a weird one. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry. 
What do I do? I'm not sure. We need you to go. hear that howling at night? Like a dying animal. Ah, ah. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Ah, can't call the police on him. We'll rile up the tigers. On who? I know. And we can't ask them, or we will repay them for the rest of our lives. Gotta do something. Can't have him here. Him. I... I don't know. Uh, hi guys. Who are you talking about, exactly? Como estas? Alright, can't get any info. Which floor is it? Put one more. Okay, so people do live here then. Even though it's proper screwed up here. Right. So if someone's mentioned someone here being a problem for the neighborhood, but they don't want to ask the tigers for help because then they'll be indebted to the tigers, so they're kind of stuck in an awkward position. Alright, there's our bonus eddies. What the hell happened here? Okay, so we've got a balcony, rather than maybe going in through the front door. But we could get in with our technical ability, which is usually always a better idea, to be honest. DIY guide. How to build a bomb in your kitchen. This is not a good sign. There are many people filled with discontent, but who lack the passion and clear direction to act on it. They believe to make an impact on this world, they must train and educate themselves for years, must acquire special marketable skills. Are they right to give up and lose the will to fight for what is just and what's theirs? No. There's a simple and effective method for carving your name and message into the history books loud enough for all to hear. Build a bomb. Sound difficult? Wrong! All of the necessary ingredients to build a device capable of killing dozens can be found right inside your kitchen. As you read the following how-to, here is what's most important to remember. It will be cheap but effective. All components are widely sold, widely sold, and buying them won't arouse suspicion. If necessary, disposing of components... Easy. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see what else is waiting for us here. This whole... Like, this can't be one apartment. Surely each one of these is its own apartment. So is, he, is this person... It was mentioned it was a he, right? Uh, the guy downstairs said he's a problem. Okay, so that leads back outside to another balcony, maybe? Yeah, this place is like the whole floor that this person's got to themselves two floors from the looks of it. So it's all abandoned. Quasar. I'd like to give that gun another go, actually. <laughs> the truth about cyberpsychosis. I feel like we've read this, but... I'm not sure, actually. I've had enough of the senseless shootings that claim hundreds of innocents every day. I'm sick of the satire on empty de dead end implant restriction dialogue. I'm tired of ignoring the cyberpsychosis problem. In American society today, there's still a lot of common myths and misconceptions about the so-called technologically related personality disorders. People think that they can become infected in sketchy Ripidoc clinics. Scientists allegedly, allegedly disagree about the causes of the disease 
or even about whether it exists at all. Maybe their tune would change if a cybercycle turned their lab into a slaughterhouse. But even then, I doubt it. They're not getting fat paychecks from the cyberware lobby just to openly declare to the public all the nasty possible side effects that come packaged with their products. I've conducted my own research on cyberpsychosis. With supreme confidence, I can confirm this illness is indeed an, a byproduct of the modern lifestyle and the obsessive emphasis placed on incorporating modern tech into our lives. Although cybernetic implants can directly affect our brain chemistry, they still serve only as a catalyst for the onset of the disease. Our world is subject to extensive dehumanization. We surround ourselves with increasingly more automated machines and artificial intelligences. Our loved ones replace their nature-given eyes, lips and faces with masks of metal. Some of us begin to lose sight of what is human. We slip into feelings of total alienation and deep-rooted panic. We lose the ability to distinguish between what's real and what's only artificial, digital, synthetic. Some people, Such people begin to isolate themselves, lose their empathy for others, and undergo dramatic mood swings that exhibit sadistic tendencies. The most frightening component to all this, however, is that most will never be diagnosed. Not all cyberpsychos are known war veterans or former mercenaries equipped with Sandivistan reflex tech. Not all will go out in a blaze of gunfire with max tech. Many cyberpsychos in our world possess only a single implant, a knee, a liver. They're unseen, unnoticed. They lock themselves up and shut out their friends, colleagues, and loved ones. The world outside of the net and their delusions has disappeared from conscious thought. They're sick and alone, and no one is doing a thing about it. There's no eloquent summary to be made here. Let the value of this manifesto be measured by the fact that I was expelled from the Zeta Tech cybernetics research team for having written it. Hmm. Sounds like someone who might be on the verge of becoming a Luddite, I guess. Or a new version of Luddite. This place is eerie. This place is se severely eerie. Right, so before we go upstairs, let's just have a little look around down here. Rocker jacket. Nice. Look at the city, man. So we could actually jump upstairs. But let's continue exploring. What really happened in Arasaka Tower? We have read this. Okay, so we've heard mention of bomb making, cyber psychosis, and a disdain for technology. Arasaka Tower, so there's definite terrorist notions here, right? Isolation, corporate uh, hatred with the cyberpsychosis stuff. Yeah, we could have jumped up here, but looks pretty abandoned. Alright, that's not good. Die, die, die on the walls. The Bart. The. Don't you have a tattoo on your chest that says Die Bart Die? No, that's German for The Bart. The. Sorry. Necessary Simpsons quote. Yeah, another how to build your bomb. So we could have jumped up here. More money? Loads of guns. Plenty of cool clothes. I appreciate that. A stylish terrorist. We've got a closed door. Oh, is there another way in? I think there is. I think there's something uh, on the floor above. Yeah, look. Yeah, let's try and find a better way in then. Alright, 
let's try that again. For God's sake. I don't think we're meant to go up there, but... It's like completely blocked off. We're not supposed to, I don't think. Oh, Matt. Oh, Jesus. Right, sorry. Let's get back to what we're supposed to do. I guess we have to go through the door. I thought that we might be able to, because if you look on the map, there's uh, something further up. Maybe... See another way out. Maybe this way. Okay, there's only one place left to go. It's this bloody door. Stop! Sure, sure. And you be careful with that trigger. How did you find me? Uh, fixer sent me. Hereby contract from a fixer. Nothing personal. Hand over the stolen meds, and I'm gone. Stolen? <laughs> the Pale of Paradol doesn't work! So, so, so who's stealing from who? Who? Ripper docs. They're the real criminals. Pale of Paradol? For cyberpsychosis? Uh, I'm not fucking crazy! Easy, easy. Shut up! Go away! So, if it doesn't work, just why don't you give it to me? If they're of no use to you, they don't work. Just hand them over. You're the same as them! Rippers, politicians, the same as that fucking halt! I could think of a few differences. Shut up! That bastard he stole from, from research! He doesn't care about the sick! But soon, I'll find him. End him. His death wouldn't change anything. Do what you want, but give me the drugs. I see we're past talking. You're a soldier, not a terrorist. Let's go with that, I guess. Let's go! Double time! Militech HKS-47 with polymer reinforcement. You were a soldier. Militech. Third Light Division, 155th Infantry Regiment. Seven years in a fucking jungle. When times were simpler... Before you got sick. You cast me out like a dead battery. That's no reason to become a terrorist. Where did you serve? In the, um, South American? In, in the Panam? Panam. In the Latin American Wars. Where'd you serve? Brazil. Yeah. I remember all of it. Dirt on my face. F fatigues always... Always wet. It's like a brain dance. I can't shut off. Memories flood back. Without the adrenaline. Without my brothers. Fuck. So quickly they forgot me. I understand why you're angry, mate. I really do. You're angry. And I get it. You feel cheated. Not just me. I know. But if you zero Holt, you'll make it worse for everyone in your condition. They'll hunt you down. Leave. Go, please. No, I can't without those meds. Over there. I want to be alone. All right. Let's put the gun away. Poor son of a bitch. Not the only one in NC with problems. Dude's got his back pinned against the wall. Alone. What do you want me to do? Head to the lab, invent a cure. Maybe this murder Holt idea is not so bad. <laughs> At least it'd piss a few people off. True. Sure, I guess, but what's the point? Better than burying your head in the sand. Well, 
Let's uh, maybe talk to him. Can we not talk to him? Please don't tell me that this is going to trigger a fight. From Liam to uh, this guy. Bill, you know it's been more, been two months since our last meeting. Everyone's been asking about you. You come in Thursday at 7. Whether you talk to Mike or Sarah, or just sit and listen at the very least. Just never forget that PTSD isn't something you should be ashamed of. Each of us has been there. We know the hurt. I don't want to pressure you. This Thursday doesn't work, I understand, but just try getting back in the routine of coming, okay? And if you want to just talk to me first, you know my number, I'd be happy to meet up and catch up. No, Liam, I've had enough of understanding. Enough pats on the back, enough self-pity. Doesn't accomplish... Talking doesn't accomplish anything, only action does. I hope you're not planning... to do something reckless. Where do you live now? I can come by, we can go over what you're feeling. Bill, where are you? Oh man, can we not help him? Maybe I should have said the other response to Johnny. We maybe ask, because he's got, he's suffering with cyberpsychosis, right? So maybe Regina could help him? No! Well, there it is. Oh, mate. Could we not have helped him? I, I tried to come and do something. Oh, that really sucks, man. Just blew his brains out. Oh, that really sucks. That really sucks, man. Could we? Uh, we must have been able to help him. Oh, damn it. This is that true. There was no dialogue option or anything. Maybe I needed to trigger it by finding something. But I read those emails. That would have been a hint at something, right? Shit, dude. I just said the wrong collection of things. Poor Bill, man. When it rains, it pours, Harvey. Glad to hear you're not bumming around. New contracts are available. Send in the info now. Alright. So, it's two new gigs from Regina. Going for hire and one at our apartment. A rescue. God. Maybe it's to do with that stuff we read, actually. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I've forgotten the guy's name. So if we just have a look when we get the sub-district lines drawn in. Yeah. So then if I was to do NCPD scanners. So then if I maybe wanted to clean up Little China, because that's where we live. So then that would be... What, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Four, seven, nine, eleven NCPD scanners for the sub-district. I think that's a cool idea, right? Cleaning up each neighbourhood, maybe, slowly. Um, right, it's nearly time to meet Judy, so... 
Let's uh, let's just get that marked. Oh, we could go and pick this up actually. That might. We need to drive past clouds to get there, so maybe track that. And then by the time we've driven over there, picked up the car, checked it out, it'll probably be past midnight, and we can go and meet Judy. So. I'll uh, sell all those guns that I've picked up, guys. Yeah, it was a bit of a depressing end for poor Bill there, but we had a nice resolution to the Anna Hamill quest. Um, kind of stuck it to the corporations with that one at the Mega Building 11, was it? Yeah, so we'll pick it up from here next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Just remember, everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.